Tom here from Men Aloud, and I'm here to review the brand new album from Norma Jean called Polar Similar. I love the last album that Norma Jean put out, Wrongdoers. It was easily one of my favorite albums that they've ever done just because it combined everything I loved about the band. It had the speed and the veracity of Oh God, The Aftermath. It had the kind of sludginess of Anti-Mother and Meridial. It also kind of had that really gritty feel that uh, Redeemer had that I really liked and those really kind of catchy hooks at times that were still really dark and heavy as well. And that's part of why Wrongdoers did so well, is just because it blended everything together. One of my very few complaints about that album was that it lacked a strong opening song. Not that Hive Minds was bad, just that it nearly didn't have the punch of the previous uh, opening tracks. Polar Similar kicks things off with a bang. The song, which is just titled One the Planet, rips so hard. I love this song. Corey Brandon comes in just screaming, I hope you burn, and just, holy shit, I mean, this is fantastic throughout. The, so the opening riff is just so heavy, and it leads you into what this album sounds like and what it's going to be. It's this really, really dark album. I mean, even just on that song, you, the, one of the lines he's belting out is, what you're feeling is the loneliness of God. And this is truly the angriest record that they have put out since Verse the Anti-Mother. And that song leads right into everyone talking over everyone else. And it just has this crazy buildup with all the drumming and the guitar work and ready anytime you think it's gonna explode. And then finally, right, right when you're least expecting it, it blows up. And another great track. The, the lead single that they released, One Million Watts, is probably one of my favorite Norma Jean songs ever released. And it's still probably my favorite song off of this album just because of how heavy it is. And again, how dark it is. It leans more towards the sludgy side of things. Really reminiscent of what Verse the Anti-Mother could have been. The drumming on here is certainly strong. Uh, than on that album is one of my critiques of that album is that the drumming patterns feel a little bit weak not so here they're all over the place and I really enjoy that on here uh, the the songs are just dripping with angst and it you really get a sense of where they were writing these tracks and they've described it as being about abusive relationships and ex escaping from those and you, that's you really felt amongst these tracks uh, there's, you know, especially said so 1 million watts is one, the opening track, right from the beginning, you really hear it. And, you know, it's this album is a little bit more focused than I would say Wrongdoers, but it's still got a little bit for everyone. If you're looking for the more faster paced songs, you have things on here like Death is a Living Partner, which is just a rip roaring fast track. It's more reminiscent of things like Oh God, The Aftermath. You have Forever Hordering uh, Towards Andromeda, which is one they've been playing live uh, a lot leading up to this release. I personally got to hear it live and it was fantastic. On the album, it sounds even better. It's just extremely fast-paced, uh, and these, these guitar riffs just get right into your ears and stay stuck, and that's what you're really looking for on a Norma Jean album, and, and they did a fantastic job here. There's also some weirdness throughout this album. There are these interlude tracks, I would say, uh, which is just kind of really, really strange stuff. It's similar to what they did with Marino with... Uh, with uh, Occidental and, and sep uh, the other songs that they had on there. Wh I'm not sure if you can really layer these tracks together. They, they're all very separate. Like one is just a uh, robotic voice. It's a countdown. It's a female voice. It's weird. It's kind of uh, almost like After Hour Animals on uh, Wrongdoers, but even, even stranger. Um, and it kind of breaks things up a little bit, which is nice. It's weird the way they chose to break things up, but I love it. It works. It's, it's great. You know, like I'm saying, this this album is way more focused in style than than Wrongdoers, which kind of brought in a little bit of everything. But they've improved in every way on.
on here. I mean, Corey Brennan's vocals are just absolutely mind-blowing throughout here. He's not just screaming. His singing voice is fantastic. When he gets a little bit more, uh, that, that rough growling is, is just great and right on the money. And easily, I, I really think this takes the crown for the heaviest Norma Jean album, which previously I would have said it was Meridional. But this song is just absolutely, this the whole album is just absolutely uh, oppressively heavy. And it's, it's great. It's dark. It's angry. It's tripping with angst. And I mean, there's really the sense of emotion throughout the entire album as you go through these songs. And it's something that I, I very much have enjoyed listening to. Um, and one of the reasons why I, I love this band so much is that uh, their passion just comes out through their music, through their lyrics, through everything, and you really hear it. And this is probably one of my favorite iterations of Norma Jean, who now kind of introduced themselves as a, a collective, just because they have gone through so many lineup changes through over the years. And I really think they hit like they really hit home with this lineup, including the uh, new guitarist as well on here. Um, you know, Philip Ferris, who's is his riffs on here. I, you know, I don't know if he he wrote them if they were written before uh, Chris Day left the band, but they're so good on here. You never, you know, th this is better than anything we've really heard from the band in a while, and I, I really love Polar Similar and. I definitely think that, you know, you're a fan of heavy music, fan of Norma Jean, you're going to love this album. Thank you so much for watching the review. Don't forget to like this video. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, as well as visit us on www.media-dissection.com.